Uh, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be a little how to possibly repair video on a Gallagher M300. It's an older model that they don't make anymore, but uh, all the parts still made for them. So we're going to go through this and get this, uh, hopefully get this thing figured out and worked on and going again for the guy. Uh, if you got a, any brand or model of fence charge you want us to take a look at, you're welcome to send it here. Our website is fencerfixer.com. And our address is over here. We also work on a cattle scales and livestock scales and like low bars and waste scales for Gallagher and True Test mostly and the EID tag viewers on the Gallagher's as well. So if you know, or know anybody that's got one of those that's not working right, battery's not saying charge, something silly, um, get a hold of us and we'll help you guys out. So let's plug this thing in, 110, 120 volt. All right, power light's coming on. But it's not clicking and flashing the lights. So, I'm not sure what that's going to tell us, but it ain't working right either way. I smelled something, but I guess it's something else. So there's a little bulb that was lighting up. The bar graph lights are underneath the board on the back side. Uh, how old is this thing? 2016 model, based on when it was built. The first two digits, the year it was built, and the second or third and fourth numbers a week of that year. And that fifth number, if you really care, is a, is a day. So this is built on the day, a fifth day. Of the 22nd week of 2016 so basically the first quarter of 2016 is when this one was built well let's check the capacitor first they don't usually go bad that quick but we'll go ahead and unplug it see what it test out now they've made a few versions of this unit over the years this is a later version board, so the older board looking similar but different. So we're going to test this capacitor. It is a... Ooh, it's like something's arced out somewhere. Maybe from the transformer maybe. This is black stuff on the capacitor. It's like residue. It's from spewed out from something. We'll flip that board over here in a second. But this one's supposed to read 15 microfarads. So we'll test across it and see what it reads. Fifteen and a half, so the capacitor is fine. They don't go bad that often. This spot right there kind of makes me wonder. And the spot right there as well. Tons of smell burnt. Well, let's flip this board and see what it looks like on the back side. Clean, but you can see this spot right there on the case. This is kind of a discoloration right there. Something's arced or something at some point in time. Let's um let's get another transformer just for the heck of it. So, capacitor had a charge on it. Let me go grab a, find a transformer for this. Alright, got another got a new transformer for it. Alright, 
let's plug it in. See what happens. Still nothing. The green light's coming on, but it's still not clicking. So we've got a problem in the board for certain now. Um, let's uh, see if we can discharge this capacitor. So it's not discharging for some reason because the uh, capacitor is holding charge. So maybe one of these little diodes on here is, is uh, gone open, not allowing it to feed through. So we'll check these all these little black diodes. Also two big ones up here. Check it first, but let's I'll check those in a minute. That's good. Good. black one right there. All right, let's check these big ones here. Good. Well, all the diodes are good. So it could be something in this circuit there. I don't deal on that stuff. You can't, you know, you can't get schematics for them. There's a break. It's like right there in this path right here, there's a, there's a um, one of the traces. Looks like it's broken. Um, let's see if we can just... Oh, ah. yeah, that's our issue. There's a little scorch mark right there. And if I test continuity between there, it doesn't read anything. So that red. It doesn't read there. Let's try here. Okay, let's just try something. And we're going to slot it right there. All right. Cut us a little long. that
is really kind of tricky. It's got that surface mount crap. I don't like dealing with so freaking small. Now, I don't know if this is going to fix it or not, but it's worth a shot. Right, so let's do this. Put it here. Cross fingers, it was working. Alright, so it's clicking. Sounds like it's arcing somewhere. Let's turn it off. Just flip this over. See if we see it arcing anywhere. Test the output. Should probably be around 6,000. This one's this one's done and ready to go. So we'll put it back together, call the customers, and took a little plan around with to get it figured out, but at least it was something something cheap and easy. It wasn't a uh, actual big part that was bad.
All right, well, that's it for this little gem. So if you got a uh, Gallagher M300 or another Gallagher fence charger, old style, new style, or any other brand or model of any age or style, send it in here and we'll take a look at it for you and we'll get you fixed up. Until next time, we'll see you later on.